Yo, what is up guys, Jerry Z Sand here. Today, I'm gonna be showing y'all what an American football practice looks like for an international professional football player out here in Spain. So I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like, subscribe, share the video, and let's get straight to my day in Spain. <laughs> he didn't even wait for us, bro. I'm over here holding on by my shoulder. I gotta make a break for it. Bro, take off. Hey, friend. Hey, yo. It's a beautiful day in Spain. For the gram, for the gram. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> What happened, coach? ¿Qué pasa, coach? <laughs> Every day we either take the bus or we get picked up for practice and we always have that beautiful scenery, the beautiful sunset of Gijón Asturias in Spain and it's absolutely amazing, beautiful out here. We get there a little bit earlier than everyone else because everyone's coming from work, trickling in from work and as the practice goes on, more of the people show up. So the way practice is structured is it's a beautiful day to be Mariner. In it. We start by warming up, doing these warm up laps, and then we start our actual dynamic warm up with Alex, as y'all can see. Amazing guy, amazing leader. As we're doing this, we go into indies, we go into special teams, we go into seven on seven, and by the time we get to team after that, we do offensive team, scout, defensive team, scout. And we go through a couple times of that period. And by the time we get to team, everyone is at Dang. practice and we're able to work on what we need to Dang. work on for the week coming up and for the Dang, opponent okay. coming up. So right before we start practice, yeah. we always have a little fun, man. One of the best things is having fun out here. So go ahead and do a little goal post jump, touch the goal post and get ready for practice. Ah. Ah. Now it's time to practice, baby. All right, so right here, set heel six with me, one on one. So I just beat him off the line, press coverage, catch it for a touchdown. When you're running the ball, one of the biggest things out here overseas is you got to trust your blocks, but you also have to be very reactive. And you have to make the blocks happen. You have to help yourself out, help your blockers out by making people get in positions to actually get blocked. I'd say that's the biggest difference in skill level is the linemen and them getting to the second level. So you have to help out yourself and your linemen in putting those defenders in position to get blocked. Bro, come on, man. <sighs> Bro, I pressed the button to get off at the bus station to get off for practice. The bus driver doesn't listen, keeps driving. Drives another 10 minutes, 12 minutes walking distance for me. I got like eight minutes to get a practice. I already ran most of the way, but this man kept going. Disregarded the damn button. So now I had to haul ass and run this way so I can make it a practice on time. I made it with some minutes to spare. Thankfully, I'm an athlete and I can run. I just realized that practicing until 9.30 and it's nine. So I ran for no reason. I wasn't late after all. Uh, now I'm 30 minutes early, let's go. Bad has. So overall, I love the way Coach Nodio scheduled practice and how he positioned everything the way it was. He took care of the defense. Sergio, the quarterback, took care of the offense. Our OC actually wasn't in the same city as us. So he was a couple hours away. So he would show up for the games and he would talk to us through Zoom and corrections through huddle so that was kind of hard not having our OC in person that's one of the biggest reasons why I think we weren't able to mesh as an offense the way we could have because we weren't able to correct what we needed to during the actual practices to be as efficient as we could have we had so much firepower on the offense so many athletes that we could have really got the ball around but we weren't able to now Connie and I still did our thing Sergio still did our you know our thing we did our thing as the imports but as a team you know, football is a team sport. As a team, we weren't as efficient as we could have been. And I think that was a part of it. But there was a lot of aspects that we could have been better on that we weren't able to to be on the same page. One of the craziest things overseas is seeing how much people really love football. I mean, they're coming after long, hard days of working 
all types of jobs, factory jobs, construction jobs, owning businesses, owning gyms, they all came after their work. As soon as they get out, grab their pads, come straight to practice to be with us and to practice as a team. And you know, football is a grueling and time consuming sport. So we'll be out there for about two hours, two and a half hours doing our thing. And us as imports, we did not take that for granted. So we did what we could, helping out in every way we could to help the team run as efficient as we could. Coach Onorio really took care of our bodies because like I said, everyone came from work, everyone was banged up. I mean, just Ruben, tight end slash D end, one of my roommates, he worked a construction job. So he was always hurting from his body, but he would come in and he would still practice a thousand percent. I love meeting the Mariners and the family of the Mariners and my brothers out here. And there's so much talent out here. And it's, it's crazy. It's crazy seeing this as an American football player that there's so much talent overseas. And I absolutely love it, man. I love the way they took care of us. I love the way they, they scheduled practice. It was very well structured. It's just hard when you're going from college football where that's like your job going to overseas where people have their jobs and then they start going to practice and everyone gets out at different times so everyone trickles in at different times learning to kind of manage a team and an offense is just different but it's absolutely insane how much love people have for football here that they're willing to do what they love no matter what and put the time put the effort to go out there and do their thing every saturday man being out here in spain has been an absolutely blessing and practice was great. So the Mariners, y'all are a great organization. Coach Inodio, you're doing your thing, man. You're a great coach. You're a great head coach. And you really help run this organization the way it is. Kike, you as well. Player, part owner, manager. I mean, all the above. Doing great things, man. Doing great things. Helping the team run the way it does. And as smooth as it can run. It's hard, it's, it's a lot of work, but not only do you coach, not only do you manage, not only do you take care of a lot of the financial stuff, but you're out there playing as well, so that's, that's crazy, man. Hope you guys enjoyed me. Should like, comment, subscribe, share the video, check out my pro football vlogs. Stay tuned for more videos of overseas football and everywhere I go to play. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.